Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Bard's Tale Trilogy Remastered. I am your host Lord Fenton and today's epic battle edition of Bard's Tale Tales of the Unknown. We are finally going to face Vanguard the Dark and save Scarabrave once and for all. We're also going for the Spectre Snare so let's get to the action folks. Minor minor update. I, I said before I'm going straight to Vanguard from 4 to 5 which I'm doing. Now this floor has the toughest foes and some of the best drops. Hopefully I get both, so we're gonna keep on searching. And it says a magic mouth on the wall speaks to you, death to those who attack the mighty one. Okay, we got a magic mouth that bleeds manga in the dark. And we also got hit with a uh, smoke in the eyes. And we lost our spells. Yeah, manga's pulling no punches this time, so expect the unexpected is some of the nastiest of the nasties. And let's keep on going forward. Alright, so after we uh, cast our spells from the anti-magic uh, panel we just uh, ran through a few times. <laughs> yes, he's going to do that a lot. So we're going to keep on going forward. And there's something special near besides five stone giants. Let's see how tough they are to show you my point. Yeah. Let's see, three manga mind blades. Let's see if it does it. 7892. Whoa. Already lost a bunch of hit points on that. I only took two of them out. Alright, see here. Mangar's mind blades. Yeah, and then restoration. And that's a full heal. And from this, yeah, we should trap zap at this point, especially on this level. And a true drum. It's alright, we got a flame horn. I'd rather take the flame horn. And if we swap to it, well, it'll just uh, play drums now. Now we hit darkness room. So let's go forward, then I'll explain what's up next. That's important. Okay, real quick, we didn't get possessed. We hit that panel. But here's the thing in the older versions, or Lake Simo when it comes out in the winter, is um, you can hit that panel, you get possessed. It's a party fight. You gotta depossess a person or kill the person who's possessed. Worse if it's a hunter, so we'll uh, keep on going and surge ahead and avoid any nasties like that. And again, if you get possessed, uh, cast the wizard spell to depossess that. Now we got teleported. Let's keep on surging ahead. Alright, let's surge ahead, see what trouble we get ourselves into, since it's going to be most trouble, of course. And of course, a few of those nice traps. This floor, I hate to say, is well designed too. The only tower I complained about was three, but layer levels is great. Look like we got a new Beholder foe, which is probably an eye, but we're gonna avoid them. And we're gonna try and run from most of these foes as uh, best we can. You yeah, see, great dragons, war giants, demons with giants, dragons with uh, vampires. Yeah, they're all mixing it up. Cats with dogs trying to kill us. Sarah, Sarah, so on and so forth. And it look like it was a whole bunch of uh, demons. Giants and gimps. You got your gnomes from the castle. That's probably where they're made here. And the wizards. Yeah, we're skipping everything. And I think, let me see here. Bandit snatchers. Yeah. Which are those tiger thingies from uh, the Alice in Wonderland movies. Here is there is a pool of boiling liquid here. Will you party dive in? Yes, you must dive in. You'll take a little damage, but you will get towards a uh, Mangar's room. All right, up ahead is the three silver pieces we needed to get into this uh, Mangar to Dark's room. I'll for everybody that right now. So there's a hidden panel wall right here. Secret. Shh. Don't tell Mangar we found it. Screw it. Here we go. On the wall to the north are etched three geometrical shapes, circle, square, and triangle. And it says, you see further, passage has been granted. If we didn't have those shapes, we could not enter the room, but those pieces I might pop out of the inventory right into the uh, slots at once. So now we're going to go in. I forgot to tell everybody about the goals. There's two, which is simple. Spectra Snare, you want to get first. So you have to do all this again. Second, Mangar to the Dark. You go straight, you fight him. Let's not do that. Let's sneak around, get the Spectre Snare. Now there's all sorts of traps, nastiness, and such. We're gonna lose our spells, of course. 
I'm going to cast a comp is probably buff up, except for, um, what do you call it? Cat's Eye, obviously, because that's the location where we're at right now. We're in a dark room. Again, this is Manger the Dark, so expect him to be a jerk. Yeah. I'm going to use the map a lot in this as a reference. We're going to run because ghosts do possess. Yeah, run from that too. Yeah, we're going to see basically some uh, static combat areas to fight foes randomly, but hey, we're getting towards the end of the game and we got to win. Let's run again and keep on going. Alright, now we trap zap and the next panel should be, I think, the Spectre Snare or two. We'll see. Uh, Magic Mouth speaks to party. What can bind the mightiest foes? Here's the answer Spectra Snare. That's one of the best weapons in the game. I'll explain right right now. You have a 1 through 6 party slot. Bard equips it, and the Bard uses it, say, on uh, Mango to Dark. You will actually have him join your party and then clear out the room. And it's great. It says a magical lasso appears, and there's our steam achievement right there. That's how you get it. So, what we're going to do is uh, cast our spell, uh, prepare, and save the game right now. As we're saving, I'm going to explain real quick what's going to go down. As soon as we uh, save, enter the room, we're going to face Mangar the Dark and a random bunch of uh, demons and vampires. And he's not going to be easy. I will say this right now. But we're going to get through it. And let's keep on going. No cold feet. You stand in the anti chamber of Mangar the Dark. Evil Archmage of Scarab Ray. Mangar glares at you with deep hatred. Die, mortals! He screams. Well, this is the guy who's been causing all trouble. Eternal Winter, hordes of monsters, and other stuff. So you see three vampire lords, two demon lords, and a Mangar the Dark. Uh, I had my guys attack the demon lords. I had the Stevie use the Bard's Horn, uh, Rogue Hide, Mangar's uh, Mind Blades. I, I tried. Let's see. Greater Deer. Uh oh. A demon lord hits Echelon. He got turned to stone. One hit, you get turned to stone from him. They are very dangerous. And Vampire. Yeah, see, Vampire Lord tried to cast a spell. It fizzled. Yeah, three fire horns killed him. Very useful. And oh my god, we killed Mangar the Dark. Oh my goodness, with a Mangar's mind blade. That's irony right there, folks. So let's see how we continue this battle. I should just at the time the video cast uh, Mangar's mind blade still, but I try to figure out how to kill uh, cure stone. But let me tell you, folks, right now, one way to cure it is going to a temple. That's it. You get resurrected, and then you healed yourself cost you a lot of money but if I remember right I think Bar's Tale 3 I might be wrong if it's not 3 it's at least 2 star the uh, Cure to Stone spells Cure Aging they did a great job of those games when I read the spell list but we'll experiment see what's going down I don't think he's going to get cured but I think I went Demon Strike see if that worked against a Demon Lord I should have just did Magnus Mind Blades Let's see. Yep. Yeah. yeah, more demon lords are coming in. This is hilarious. Yeah, nobody's getting hitting him. Nope, nothing happened. One, two, three, four demon lords. No, three demon lords and great demon, sorry. Yeah, I think at this point I said Mangor's Mind Blaze. I mixed it up with a little bit of um a restoration. Yep, yeah, breathing the party. Okay, Let's see what we have left. Same foes. I think we're just gonna go all offensive here, using the flame horn. Let's see if this does anything. And oh man, they took the bard out. The bard. Why? Well, they're all down. Let's see what we gain this time. Thieves starts an identified weapon. Chiron the Good Mage appears before you in a flash of light. Well done, he cries, beaming. Your quest in Scarab Bray is fulfilled. Thanks, dude. Thank you very much. I like that. He appeared after we did the dirty work. Again, it must be our hitman or something like that, but... Oh, well, that was a good fight overall. 
very challenging but fun. The evil one is now defeated and his spell of winter will soon end. You will all, as a symbol of my gratitude, receive 300k experience, also 300k gold to share amongst yourselves. Farewell and live long. That's right, everybody gets 300k and we got sent back to Adventure Skill and we got the last achievement which is basically you beat the game. I'm going to be honest with you, I'll probably go back and uh, redo the battle when I feel like it, see how well I do, but this is just to show you uh, the achievement that you gain and 72k minus of the 300k we gain just to heal and resurrect the other two, which costs a lot again at this level. We'll reorder because the other two die. That's what happens when you, uh, your party members die. And I hate to say it, that's about it. Well, that's about does it for Bard's Tale Tales of the Unknown. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I will be seeing you all in Bard's Tales 2 Destiny Night uh, Remastered when it comes out in the fall in uh, mid to late October. See you all there.